Gal is a brand that really represents fearlessness, like women just dressing for themselves. Edgy with rock and roll style, Nasty Gal is a fashion empire with a loyal fan base. Describe your customer, who is Nasty Gal? She's ambitious, she's outspoken, um, she's like a really cool girl. But Amoruso was not always the cool girl and didn't always know what she wanted, working all kinds of jobs. Oh gosh, I've worked at a dry cleaner, scrubbing ring around the collar off of men's shirts. My first job was at Subway. Um, I was a gardener at one point. I had like dropped out of community college and was just kind of struggling in my early 20s. Uh, didn't know what I wanted to do, but I loved photography and I loved vintage clothing. And then here you are, $280 million valued later, which is an incredible rags to riches story. It's, yeah, it's been a wild ride. It all started on eBay when Amoruso was 22. She started off selling vintage and designer clothing. She styled and photographed each piece. Her brand name, Nasty Gal, comes from the 1975 album by singer Betty Davis. I guess I was inspired by her, but I was choosing an eBay name, um, which, you know, I was 22 years old starting an eBay store. I didn't think I'd be talking about Nasty Gal a decade later. And it led to the Nasty Gal retail website in 2008. When did you realize, I've got something here? Oh man, um, I think I'm still realizing it. Nasty Gal has 5 million followers on social media and the company grew from just Sophia to 200 employees. We're doing Red Bull Sound Select coming up. Amoruso also has her own Nasty Gal label, as well as two stores in Los Angeles. What does your family think of your success? My mom is very proud and very, very active on Facebook. Um, it borders on gloating, but um, I think moms are allowed that. What challenges have you had to face along the way? There's been a lot of challenges. I mean, scaling a company for 10 years is really tough. In 2015, she stepped down as CEO of Nasty Gal. I don't want to say I wasn't qualified, but um, it just wasn't what I wanted to spend my time doing. I don't think I was playing my strengths. And Maruso's strengths are on the creative Military. side, and I got to experience that firsthand. <laughs> There's something I had in mind for you. Here it is. Um, oh, that is adorable. What do you think? And jumpsuits are so in right now. I yeah. love it. That's perfect. Cool. Maybe a jacket. That. Yes. Oh, I love it. That okay. gives it sort of that nasty gal edge. It does. <laughs> Okay, yeah, here we go. Trying it on. All right, the reveal. You look amazing. Wow. <laughs> Dude. I feel very rocker chic. Little modeling session. Look at us. Woo. But she's more than about fashion. Her first book, Girl Boss, a memoir, launched a social media movement. The hashtag girl boss used over three million times. Are you a voice of the millennial generation then? I think I'm one of them. You know, the intention of girl boss is really to inspire people to make decisions for themselves. I want people to be their own role models and compete with themselves. She now has a Netflix series coming out next year, Girl Boss, her podcast, and her foundation, which helps female entrepreneurs. And now a new book, Nasty Galaxy, featuring inspiring women. All of this by the age of 32. The point of view of Nasty Gal is just to dress for yourself. If you like what you're wearing, your day's different. What do you think makes you cutting edge? I guess that I'm pretty fearless and that I'm always going to keep getting up and trying again. I'm trying to inspire a generation of girls to do the same. She is such an incredible person and a woman, and she's really inspired this Nasty Gal movement and girl boss that you know women have really seized. I like that idea that she knew at some moment that this had potential to get really big and seize that opportunity. She believed in herself, which is yep. something we need to be yeah. doing yeah. more. Incredible. All she's done, and she's 32. Yeah, and tomorrow I've got another incredible young woman named Phoebe Robinson on the cutting edge. Also, she's bringing diversity to the podcasting world, and she's one of the top-rated podcasters around right now. Wow, cool. Love it. Wow. All right, Natalie, Thank thanks. You, Good Natalie. to see you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.